everyone, it's Lauren and this is another episode of Autonomous Wellness and today we're going to talk a little bit about diastasis recti. What that is, is basically when your rectus abdominis or your six pack muscle, it attaches together, there's a left side and a right side and it attaches together at the linea alba. Now what happens is sometimes those two sides can start pulling apart and um, basically if you think of the um, right part on that on that chicken breast when you go to cook it, it's kind of a material like that. It's white and it's called fascia. And so that's the only thing kind of protecting your organs from um, from kind of the outside world along with your skin. So when those muscles pull apart, sometimes you can get some protruding of those organs through that area. Now there's a great quick check for that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your back you're going to put one arm behind your head, knees bent. You're going to have two to three fingers, um, one at your belly button. You're going to do it three times. You're going to do it above your belly button, about an inch or two, at your belly button, and below your belly button. And what you're going to do is you're going to crunch up, and you're going to see if you can fit fingers between those two sides of the muscle. And you're going to do above your belly button first. Nope, can't get anything through. You're going to rest. Go down again. See if you can, you definitely want your shoulders to be off the ground. See if you can fit in. Now I do have a little bit, like maybe half a finger width, basically at my belly button. This can happen for people who've gone through pregnancy or who um, have not. And then you're gonna do below your belly button. Now if you have two and a half finger widths, it's definitely something you want to take seriously and maybe talk to a healthcare professional about. I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that you can start out with that are going to help um, strengthen the lowest level of your abdominal muscles because your transverse abdominus. And that's going to be one muscle that you really want to get started on trying to kind of cinch everything back together. So what you're going to do is if you put one hand beneath your back, you're going to try and kind of flatten that hand out. So you're going to try to smush that hand. Doing so, you're going to rock that pelvis back. Find your two bony parts on your pelvis, and you're going to put finger right in between them, or right in front of them. And then I want you to laugh, cough, or sneeze. <laughs> and um, that was pretty lame, but um, you get the point, and you can feel those muscles pop into your fingers. So that is an easy check. Now in order to activate them by yourself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and push, make sure that back's nice and flat. You're gonna think of your belly button as being attached to a string and you're gonna try and think about bringing it down and a little bit up. So you're gonna bring it down and a little bit up and you're gonna feel that muscle pop into your finger. So I just want you to hold that for five seconds. You can talk out loud, count out loud. That's gonna allow you to not hold your breath you don't want to hold your breath because what it does is it actually increases the pressure in your abdominal cavity and it's pretty much the exact opposite of what you're going for. So you just want to hold it for five seconds and then relax. Get that position again. Make sure your back's nice and flat. I can't put a finger or a hand through there. Bring your belly button down. Hold it for five seconds. Two, three, four, five, and relax. You want to make sure you're still breathing during this. Two, three, four, five, relax. When you feel like you have that down, that's the first thing you want to do before you're doing any type of crunches, any type of abdominal exercises at all. You're going to go and you're going to go into a different position. You're going to go on all fours. Now, this one's harder because gravity is basically, if you think of it as an arrow, it's pushing down this way. So gravity is pushing your organs so that they're falling out. And what you're going to do is you're going to try and kind of get that back flat and bring that belly button up this way. And so you can have one finger here and bring your belly button to your spine. Relax. Five seconds. Two, three, four, five. And relax. Okay. And just keep trying that. You can also do that in sitting up or standing. And that's really going to help kind of activate that core, tighten everything back up. There's a couple of other things you can do as well. So um, look for a little bit more on the series later. Thanks guys. Bye.